down of the 120 Samba LiPo 4 battery. We've removed the battery management system from the top of the battery. All the battery management systems are actually mounted in a metal cradle, keep them separate from the battery itself. Uh, so that comes off, and that separates. Then internally, we have the actual battery. Four individual cells at 3.2 volts each. That makes up your 12.8 volts for your LiPo 4. This one here is going to be removed. The locking tabs have been removed. Let me slip the battery out of its case. All the thumper batteries, except for the 170, are mounted in a metal frame. This is adjustable depending on the size of the battery. The 100 amp hour cells are slightly shorter, so the frame extends out slightly further. It's a firm fit inside the battery pack itself. As you can see, the metal frame on the bottom, metal frame on the top. The cells are not just taped together, they're actually fastened together so they can't shake to pieces. On top of the battery, a lot of the batteries normally have wires connecting the batteries together. These have 300 amp fully welded buzz bars to connect the batteries together. So extremely strong. Uh, so there's no chance of them falling apart. There's no chance of them shaking apart. All the thumper batteries are perfectly safe to lay on their side a multiple stack because they don't come to pieces. The frame keeps the whole battery together. The battery management system is bolted to the top of the battery, makes it nice and easy. Each battery management system has a wire going to each cell to monitor the voltage, so it stabilizes all the voltage evenly. This is where it comes back to a decent battery management system and not just a cheap one. All the thumper batteries, regardless of what one you pick, has a replaceable battery management system. Thumper batteries if you take them down to 100% discharge, which is technically only 95% of the battery, because that's all you can really get out of it before the battery cuts out, you'll get approximately 2,000 recharges. If you take them down to a 50 to 60% discharge, you'll get in excess of 4,000 recharges. And that's a massive amount of power. So what you've got to look at is on your cheaper batteries, the battery management system burns out long before the battery does. If you do have a problem with a thumper battery, the battery management system, which is 10 times larger than this, is replaceable. So it makes a battery really a 10 year lifespan. Because the cheaper ones, you can't replace the VMS, you can't remove the batteries. They're all put in with cardboard and just pieces of polystyrene foam. These really are designed caravan camping to go the distance. If there's anything you need to know about the thumper range of batteries, there's a full breakdown of specifications on the Homer 12 volt website. And watch out for more videos. The next video, we're going to split apart the flat pack, which goes in the back of utilities, and show you the workings and the battery management system on that. Thanks for your time.